Hello, and welcome back to 10 Things You Didn't Know About Yesterday. In today's video, we will explore 10 strange laws from around the world. Laws are an integral part of our daily lives, guiding us on how to coexist harmoniously within society. Yet, some laws can be quite bizarre, even seeming unnecessary or shocking. As creations of humans, laws can sometimes reflect errors, inconsistencies, and peculiarities. In this episode, we explore some of the most curious and strange laws that have ever existed. Prepare to be amazed by the oddities of legal history. 1. It is illegal not to smile in Milan, Italy. Among the many old laws that, for some reason, have not yet been repealed, there is a peculiar regulation in Milan known as the Happy Law. This rule, dating back to Austro-Hungarian times, requires every Milanese citizen to smile. While it is unclear whether this regulation also applies to visitors of Lombardy's capital, everyone is encouraged to comply. Like any law, there are exceptions. Understandably, those attending funerals or sitting at the bedside of a seriously ill family member are exempt. Additionally, people working in hospitals and patients are also not required to follow this rule. The origin of this regulation is unknown, as is the reason it has not been repealed. However, it may contribute to promoting a happy atmosphere in this northern Italian city. 2. Anti-money destruction laws in Scotland Two of the most notable laws in Scotland prohibit the destruction of money. These regulations address different forms of money alteration. The first, the Currency and Banknotes Act of 1928, includes Section 12, which states that any person who prints or stamps, or by any like means impresses, on any banknote any words, letters, or figures will be fined. The purpose of this interdiction is not explicitly stated, but it likely relates to the respect for important historical figures depicted on the banknotes. In the United Kingdom, the monarch's image appears on every banknote and coin. Given the great respect the British people have for their kings and queens, defacing the monarch's image is considered scandalous and thus forbidden. The second piece of legislation, the Coinage Act of 1971, specifically bans the destruction of coins. It states that no person shall melt down or break up any metal coin currently in use in the United Kingdom, or any coin that has been used at any time after May 16, 1969. Violating this law can result in fines up to £400 or imprisonment for up to two years. Given the severity of these consequences, it is crucial for British citizens to keep their coins intact. The rationale behind these laws likely includes the idea that coins are property of the state and should be preserved as public property. Additionally, these laws help prevent the illegal forging of counterfeit money and the unlawful sale of the materials from which the coins are made, such as bronze and steel. 3. The British Salmon Act Remaining within the British borders, we encounter the infamous Salmon Act when discussing strange laws. Originally adopted in 1986 by the UK Parliament, this act establishes detailed regulations regarding salmon fisheries. The most controversial part of the act is Section 32, titled, Handling Fish in Suspicious Circumstances. This section makes it an offense to receive or dispose of a fish that was, or is believed to have been, illegally fished. Fortunately, the sanctions for this offense are moderate. Individuals found guilty may be liable to a reasonable fine. Initially known as the Salmon Act, the law has since been amended to discourage all forms of fish poaching. 4. Anti-chewing gum regulation in Singapore Singapore is one of the most developed countries in the world, so it might seem surprising that it has declared war on a popular substance, chewing gum. Chewing gum is not illegal per se in Singapore, so if you visit the country, you can consume it without a problem. However, you might want to bring a pack with you, as you will not be able to find it in Singaporean shops. Since 1995, when Singapore adopted the so-called anti-chewing gum regulation, the importation of any chewing gum into Singapore has been prohibited. The reason for this embargo was to promote the cleanliness of the city and to avoid the high costs associated with scraping gum from sidewalks. There are a few exceptions where the import of chewing gum is permitted, especially for therapeutic purposes. Additionally, the transit of chewing gum products to other countries is allowed. The penalties for failing to comply with the regulations are significant. Offenders may face a fine of up to 200,000 Singaporean dollars or imprisonment for up to three years. 
5. Gaming ban for citizens of Monaco. The microstate located in southern France, Monaco, is well known for being an important hub for casinos and other gambling activities. The origins of Monaco's gambling tradition date back to a period when the state was facing a difficult economic situation. To boost the economy, the authorities decided to facilitate the entry of the gambling industry into the market. The gambling sector in Monaco is strictly regulated and primarily aimed at attracting tourists. However, Monegasque citizens are not allowed to experience the casino atmosphere themselves, as they are prohibited from entering gaming houses. According to the gaming law, citizens are forbidden from gambling anywhere within the Principality of Monaco. This restriction also applies to gambling house employees. Additionally, military personnel, members of religious congregations, and individuals likely to cause a scandal or incident are also restricted from accessing gambling establishments. 6. Illegal to climb trees in Oshawa, Canada. The Canadian city of Oshawa has very strict legislation concerning the protection of trees. A law adopted in 2008 expressly prohibits any interference with trees located on municipal property. Therefore, it is illegal to climb or attach any object to a tree. Needless to say, injuring or destroying trees or any part of a tree is also prohibited. The law includes even stricter provisions regarding the planting of trees. No person is allowed to plant trees on municipal property without written approval from the authorities. Anyone who fails to comply with these regulations may be subject to fines under Canadian law. 7. It is illegal to feed pigeons in Venice. Although pigeons are a common sight in many modern cities, the municipality of Venice has strict regulations regarding these birds. If you are a tourist in Venice, remember that feeding pigeons and seagulls is prohibited. Fines for violating this rule can range between 25 to 500 euros. The primary reasons for this ban are hygiene concerns. Medical studies have shown that birds can transmit diseases. Additionally, the highly acidic excrement from birds can cause significant damage to buildings and monuments. 8. Car Wash Obligations in Abu Dhabi The authorities in the capital of the United Arab Emirates are highly concerned about maintaining the city's pristine image. Consequently, drivers are required to regularly clean their cars of dust and dirt. Failure to do so can result in the authorities impounding the dirty vehicle and issuing a fine of 500 dirhams. Additionally, a separate fee must be paid to retrieve the car. However, washing cars in public places is also prohibited under another regulation. This restriction was implemented to prevent water waste, damage to asphalt roads, and to preserve the overall appearance of the city. 9. The Law Regulating the Passage of Animals in Romania the Romanian Civil Code addresses the issue of domestic animals that have strayed onto another person's land. According to Article 576, if the owner does not reclaim the animals within 30 days, they become the property of the landowner. Wild animals, however, are governed by a different set of rules. Pigeons, rabbits, fish, and similar animals that pass onto a piece of land belong to the landowner as long as they remain there willingly. If the animals are driven onto the land by fraud or fireworks, the landowner has no claim over them. Special provisions exist for honeybee swarms. If a swarm moves onto someone's land, the landowner can claim them if their former owner does not follow or search for them within two days. 10. The Mask Ban Law in Denmark In 2000, Denmark amended its criminal code to ensure that individuals in public places are recognizable. The law mandates that anyone participating in meetings, gatherings, or events in public spaces must have their face fully uncovered. Wearing a mask or face paint that prevents identification is punishable by a fine or imprisonment for up to six months. Exceptions are made for masks worn for protection against the weather or for other recognized purposes, such as wearing medical face masks during a pandemic. That wraps up our journey through 10 strange laws from around the world. From smiling in Milan to keeping your car clean in the UAE, these laws show how unique and varied legal systems can be across different cultures. We hope you enjoyed learning about these unusual regulations and the reasons behind them. If you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to 10 Things You Didn't Know About Yesterday for more fascinating insights into the world's quirkiest laws and other intriguing topics. Stay curious and see you in the next video.